My name is Laurie Gilbreth, and I'll be playing the role of the fairy godmother in Ken Stoll's Cinderella. It's been a while since I've seen the Disney version, but obviously it's different from the bippity boppity boo <laughs> version in that she's not just this little grandmother who's going around granting all these wishes. This fairy godmother character is just more real, omnipresent through Cinderella's life. In the prologue, it's Cinderella as a small child, and there's the dream mother. She is Cinderella's vision, remembrance of her mother. The memory mother and father dance together, and as the padada goes on, Kent said there's this feeling of you know, you know something's gonna happen. And at the end, there's this moment where we just sort of fall onto the memory father, and little Cinderella grabs our hand, and then we die. I think that's probably my favorite section of the ballet. It's, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, and it's really sweet. And then as the story progresses, I think that the fairy godmother keeps those motherly intentions, but is not literally her mother. She just sort of is guiding her through the story. When you have a full-length ballet where you take it from beginning to end, you really do have to just understand the character, and especially with a role like Fairy Godmother, you're kind of guiding the whole thing, you know? So you just have to make sure that you know exactly what you want to do as far as, as your acting, how you want to portray it, and, and it's, it's a wonderful responsibility to have. It's fun. This production, it has been a really long time, I think 10 years since it's been done, so it's my first time doing it and it's just nice to have people in the company like Ariana and Carrie that have already done this role of fairy godmother and they've been great as far as helping me with different steps and, and a lot of this part is just sort of making it your own and that's one of the things that I love about it because that means that the audience is going to see a different interpretation of the fairy godmother because it's not so set in stone. I mean the variation will pretty much be you know, the same, but all those different in-between moments between you and Cinderella, it's so special because you can just make that your own beautiful story.